again, like any player with experience, as I said last year, there's no substitute for game experience. If you have a quarterback with game experience, and we have two at quarterback with game experience, uh, no substitution for it. Last year we had very little game experience. Uh, so a lot of the things he was going to do for the first time. Now he's in more of a, I think, more of a leadership role. He's, he's experienced some things. Uh, you know, because of Maxwell's, Andy Maxwell's, the to move forward in the quarterback situation. He's been able to give him more reps, and it's been a luxury to move Keaton into the wide receiver. But he's making a big, 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 big place in there too. But we also have the experience of moving back into the necessity. That's a positive. That's a positive thing I think for everybody involved. And it's, uh, it creates more leadership on the field. Put good athletes on. Is, is his leadership that you talk about is increasing leadership? Is it by just natural progression, or is it by design? He's making himself. More. I think Kirk uh, is a natural leader. Uh, I think that that comes with who he is as a person, and I think he's done a great job allowing that to take place. He doesn't force it. And, you know, he was a sophomore last year and put in that position by his peers, but he didn't force that situation. So sometimes he sort of hung back. But now he's into his fourth year at Michigan State coming up. Uh, and now that's just a natural progression. But I think he has leadership skills, as many of our players do. But now I think it's a little bit more of his time, timing-wise, to be able to assert that. I think that he does that on a 